right, so let's move on to some of the player props. And we can kind of take this in any direction you guys want to go. We each have several. Um, I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm glad that we're all kind of staying away from the obvious answers, right? None of us have anything that's on this uh, eight of clubs sheet that I wrote down. And I think that is very positive. Um, so it looks like Fez and I are kind of in agreement on, on one of them. And, and, and Chris, I think you've got actually the most ver- uh, the most uh, wide ranging uh, in terms of teams and in terms of different props for the game. So I'll, I'll let you go first, pal. What's your um, what are some of the player props you're looking here for this one? Uh, I guess probably in the order that uh, they popped sure. into my uh, orbit. Uh, I know the first thing that I bet was Purdy over uh, interceptions. You just have to yeah. get one. And uh, the price was right. Uh, I just feel that uh, the pressure is going to be on. He, he's, he's had a lot of uh, fortunate bounces with some of the throws that he's thrown. And uh, uh, this is a high leverage situational game. Uh, one mistake is all you need. And it just seemed to... It, it, just seems solid to me. I mean, it's hard not to make mistakes, especially in big games like this. So, uh, I, I just like it. That's how you feel about the. I, I'm on the Purdy interception prop too. I bet it earlier this week. I, I got it. I think at minus one fifteen or minus one twenty, somewhere in that range. What do you think? You can play perfectly and just get a ball bounce, bat it up in the air, and it can get yeah. intercepted. Yeah. So just yeah. by chance, um, you can you you, you can have um, look at um. Uh, the the big pass to Ayuk and bounces off the Lions, you know, face mask. You know, that's one yeah. that should be intercepted, right? I mean, so bottom line is, I I agree with it. Yeah, I I'll I'll go next. I'll give out a couple of my and you guys know I love the rush attempts prop. I think that's been one of the only props that I've really given out on this show consistently. Where we had Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Gus. Edwards, don't get me started on why the Ravens just decided to stop running the ball. But I'm going to go with both quarterbacks in this game, uh, Purdy and Mahomes, to go over the rushing attempts prop. Purdy's at three and a half. Mahomes is at four and a half. I'm seeing varying juice. I got the Purdy actually at plus money. Mahomes, I saw, for the most part, sitting between minus 110, minus 120. Um, And and Elijah Mitchell, I'm going to go under on Elijah Mitchell's rushing attempts prop. I think the quarterback rushing attempts prop are pretty self-explanatory. Big game. Mobile guys, Brock's really shown the mobility over the last couple of weeks, and Mahomes, it's 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 always been there. And kneel downs count, and I think that is something that isn't fully baked into these lines. It, it kneel downs at the end of the first half, at the end of the second half, they count for rushing attempts. That's why I always slightly favor the attempts to the yards when I'm betting quarterback rushing props, especially in big important games. And for Elijah Mitchell, guys. There is no tomorrow for Christian McCaffrey. What are they saving him for? Like, unless there's an injury to McCaffrey at some point during the game, that's why Mitchell got run in the NFC Championship. I don't see him coming off the field. And uh, to me, one and a half rushing attempts, that's like a whole drive for Elijah Mitchell. And I I don't think he's going to get that much run in the game. I talked to a Niners expert yesterday that said, if all things go according to plan, Elijah Mitchell won't be on the field in this game. Well, Um, Because if you're not going to go McCaffrey, you're going to go Debo, right? That's the problem. I think you have a lemon here. Let me explain why. Because if Mitchell doesn't get any playing time at all, you push. You don't win. Okay, he's got to see the field, and he doesn't oh, play. Yeah, on, that, that's he fair. doesn't play on special teams. So I absolutely agree with you. If we would win, if if, if he bageled and didn't play, then it's a great bet because maybe he's got a forty percent chance of not seeing yeah. the field. But if but he's only going to get back there if. C-Mac He'll be on blow. the field at some point for a third down to block. Like, I, I think I, I agree with your sentiment, but I think at some point he will physically be on the field. I just don't know how much attention he will be given by Kyle Shanahan. Is my but point. if he's there for a drive, I think he's favored to get two. I do. I, I don't think he's okay. going to be. I don't think he's going to be there at all. I agree. But then it's going to be a push. That's fair. Chris, what do you think? Uh, you know what? I When I think of what was CMC... I think of Forrest Whitaker and Fast Times at Ridgemont High when they damaged his car. He's going to be like that, and they're just going to run him into the ground. Yeah. And hopefully That's he fair. can last. When Jefferson sees what uh, Lincoln did to his car, he's going to go crazy. <laughs> Names right, let's, by let's Jefferson. Let's about our next prop here. Uh, Chris, you've got a bunch more on the list. Talk about Mahomes, uh, more touchdowns than Purdy. Oh, you know, I freeloaded that from a very my 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 prop guy. Uh, Steve has his prop guys, and my prop guy Ron. He says that that's a great bet. So I'm taking that bet. Mahomes more passing uh, touchdowns than Purdy, and that makes that makes sense to me actually because San Francisco's running game is better. Hmm. Yeah, San Fran's going to get more rushing touchdowns, which like has gotten hammered, right? 
and they're both going to get the same number of touchdowns approximately, then Kansas City pass touchdowns, I think mathematically has to be good. Yes. Yeah. Fez, you, you, Kyle Juszczyk's on your card. I, I, I like him, too. We're both on the same prop there. Talk about the full. I, I'll be honest. I think the Niners, I, I saw a prop Juszczyk to have the first reception in the game for the Niners was like 24 to 1. He's been targeted two out of the last three games on the first play of the game. I love Juszczyk in this matchup. Not to mention one play in particular put me on this over, and I'm sure you remember it, is, is Purdy's running for his life, running to the left. Yeah. What's this? He throws back against his body to Juszczyk all the way down the field, like a 20-yard completion. I'm like, my goodness. And they had success. If they had success with that play, um, eh, probably he's been getting more uh, usage, more usage. And you know, it, only, it only takes one. Sure. Absolutely. Love it. Uh, Chris, how do you feel about use check in this game? He's not on your card, but did you give him any look? No, I didn't. That's fair. All right. So talk about Noah Gray. Noah Gray, you know, uh, he's been put into the lineup and used more often and quietly getting more attention. Last week, he exceeded his receptions. Uh, they threw the ball at him, but Mahomes kept missing him, so hmm. it was unfortunate. He would have easily gone over his yardage number last week. Yeah. Uh, so I look for him to actually complete passes to Gray. They're going to go to him a, a handful of times, and uh, uh, it's a low number to have somebody go over, whether you find uh, 11 and a half or 12 and a half, they're both good. And the uh, over receptions, one and a half, uh, that looks pretty darn good to me too. And if you missed it, two catches, only eight yards for Noah Gray, who you know can be a guy in the red zone. So I love Chris going with the one and a half. I've seen one and a half. I've seen two. Um, so shop around on that. So going the receptions over instead of the yardage over. I think that that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. and you've got both of them on your card. Um, Fez, it, we haven't gotten into the into the premier guys just yet, really, the Mahomeses and, and, and the Purdies and the Kelseys and stuff like that. But um, – when you look at a guy like Brock Purdy and you look at the prop market constructed the way that it is, there is a you know nugget that kind of sticks out to you on your card this week. Yeah, and I'm, I'm getting to this late, and I apologize for that. And this doesn't fall into the eight of clubs method because Purdy, like when you think about the Niners, you don't think about Purdy like throwing for 300 yards. You think about no. you know some awesome misdirection runs and the like. Um, by Debo and C-Mac. And bottom line, Purdy under 31 and a half has been a monster in terms of his pass attempts over the course of a season. It's won at a, a tremendous rate. And that's the number that the books opened up. at. now the VIG has gotten higher and higher on it. It's at minus 150 currently. So I'll be graded at that. But I still think game script wise, I think Kansas City is going to go for long ball control drives, tick, tick, tick. And I certainly think San Fran is going to be running the ball and because of that, I think that, I mean, the last two games, San Fran was down big and yeah. Purdy had to throw more. I don't see that game script being likely here. And I think that uh, Shanahan company is going to look to run the ball. So under 31 and a half looks real solid. And Chris, you think Debo is going to be a big benefactor of hopefully some of those attempts. Yeah, I do. I think they're going to, they're going to use him. Uh, he's going to be great in the short yardage, uh, uh, situations that make it tough on San Francisco. I think uh, it, 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 we know San Francisco's. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, on Kansas City because they've got uh, they've got some weakness if, in that kind of situation where they're they're going to give that type of play up. Yeah. Uh, more often than not, they're they're protecting against the long the long uh, range type stuff. So uh, I think he's going to get the ball uh, quite a bit. Yeah, I think Debo and in, in, to me, the, the prop market is is obviously the most robust in the Super Bowl. Um, I have the most I don't have a whole lot on the side in total compared to the props. Like it's just a small percentage. Most most of my bets in this game are props um, and player props, obviously, is a big part of it. I think we did a good job here giving you some of the sharp angles. Um, let's quickly recap. Um, I'll give you all of Chris's props first. Chris is on uh, Purdy over a half an interception. Mahomes more touchdowns than Purdy. Noah Gray over one and a half receptions, over 11 and a half receiving yards, and Debo Samuel over four and a half receptions. Mr. Fezzik, Kyle Juszczyk to get just one or more receptions in the game, and Purdy under 31 and a half passing attempts. I'm also on the Juszczyk over a half receptions prop. I'm on a lot of Juszczyk props, actually. I did a fun little parlay with Juszczyk and 
Mahomes to both score a touchdown. It was like 50 to one. Again, those are just little fun recreational sprinkles I like to make. But my official play for use check in this game, I'm on the over half reception. I'm on both the quarterback over rushing attempts props. Mahomes at four and a half, Purdy three and a half. And in my lemon, I've got one lemon for you here on the <laughs> card. Elijah Mitchell under one and a half <laughs> rushing attempts. When he lands one, I get to. He's going to land know. zero and you're going to push. He's not going to play. That's fair. At least I won't lose money. All right, let's move on to where I have lost money in the past, and uh, it can be a bit tricky because of just um, you know some of the wording and some of the props that are out there. But these are. 